These data are from a, a set of measurements from gold spectra and they are all AVG files and these are ASCII files that have been exported from Avantage. So to convert these you collect them in a directory that is to say all the ones you wish to convert into the same VAMAS file you place in the same directory and then you can give it a name such as gold.avg the .avg instructs CASA to read all the AVG files in this directory and will create a new VAMAS file that contains the spectra that were found in these AVG files so you can see the VAMAS file name is gold.vms and these are the original AVG files so what we'll do is use these to have a, a look at quantification of a survey spectrum and various implications of escape depth and other corrections for these types of data. So the first correction we'll look at is the transmission function and this is the transmission function that's included in the AVG file so this is the response of the instrument to different kinetic energies and if we're going to do a quantification of these gold peaks and it perhaps should make sense at this point to point out that this is all gold so the only thing that we can do in terms of a quantification is to identify each one of these peaks use relative sensitivity factors and verify that we get something that makes a reasonable sense in the sense that we've got one two three four five different peaks so she, we should get about twenty percent from each one of these peaks if we apply relative sensitivity factors and other corrections that would be appropriate for quantifying survey data. So we'll begin by looking at the escape depth correction and the escape depth correction is indicated here as being Ke exp that means the exponent of a kinetic energy and the exponent is minus 0 0.6 this is the correction for escape depth as if this the RSFs were Schofield cross sections so we need to verify that our library is currently displaying Schofield cross sections and if I indicate oxygen and then click on oxygen I can see that I've got 2.93 and that's the Schofield cross section for aluminium for oxygen 1s so I know I've got a Schofield library loaded so let us now deselect that and we'll use the element library to do this rather unorthodox quantification because no one would quantify pure gold other than to check the the quantification procedure itself so I'm indicating gold with the periodic table the markers are up and the reason for doing that is it allows me to use the annotation and the peak label annotation to select all of these gold peaks that I want to quantify by and when I've labeled these gold peaks as you can see here each one has now got a label on the quantification parameters dialog window there's a button here that says create from labels and creating from labels has introduced a set of regions quantification regions and I can just go through now and indicate the limits that I think are appropriate for these particular regions. Now here we've got, it's indicated the gold 4D, um, the RSF says gold 4D, uh, so the peak itself has turned out to be the 5 halves peak, so that would be inappropriate for that RSF, so we'll adjust this and take in both parts of this doublet, because that's the appropriate RSF for the, for the 4D as a as a total RSF. Now I've got another peak here. In fact, it's worth zooming out here because what we've got are the P 4P peaks, and this doublet is separated, and I indicated two separate regions for these, so I need to make sure that I've got the RSF that should be different in this case because. I'm using both of these and what I want to do is compare this area against this area so I need to use the appropriate RSF for each one of these doublet peaks in the gold 4P so three halves and two and one half and then finally 
I should be able to see the last of these peaks, which is the the 4S. So now I've got all of my peaks with reasonable backgrounds, perhaps. And if I bring up the annotation table, and let's go for quantify and use the use both from the active tile. That's a new button in Casa. A new option for the quantification. So we end up with a quantification that says something like 18, 20, 22. So we have something that's close to the to what you'd expect, which it should be 20% for each one. So having done this, we'll now change the mode of correcting for the escape depth from a kinetic energy. What we'll do is we'll set using this dialog window, change it from the kinetic energy exponent to the effective attenuation length and we'll apply that and because this will apply to multiple files we it's going to give me a, a window that indicates that I've got these files active and these VAMAS blocks active so it's just the three that I see here so I'll say OK and now you can see that the escape depth correction is effective attenuation length and I'm ending up with a quantification which is much closer to the expected 20% for each one of these.